Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we are creating layered clothes simulations like the artist material. This is a really simple step-by-step -step guide to learning this mesmerizing effect. Let's go! The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Find the code in the video and get project files. Be quick, Art Invaders. The files are only freely available for 24 hours after the video release. Right, let's start with the tutorial. First, delete the light, the cube and the camera with the X key. And we start with our 3D object. So, and for this animation, we need first a plane. You can find it here. To get the smooth result later on, we need subdivisions. Go in the edit mode, press with the right mouse button on it and select subdivide. Open the window and increase it to 10. Now we go back in the object mode and to work better with the array modifier in the next step, we also insert a empty plane axis. Select now the plane, go to the modifier tag and insert the array modifier. Under object offset, you can now insert the empty and deselect relative offset and increase the count to 16. Now you can select the empty, take the move tool and move it a little bit up so that we get our planes. So we can also move it a little bit more. All right. In the next step, we select the empty and we rescale it to 0 0.99 in X and Y. And as you can see, the planes on the top are smaller scaled than the on the ground. It's really important for the animation later on to get a better result. Go back to the plane and apply the array modifier. And now you can also delete the empty with the X key. All right, select all the planes and rescale them to a value of 2 in Y. And we also start with the animation today in this part. Go to the physics tags and insert the clothes tag. Under quality steps, we need a value of 10. And for vertex mass, 1. Go now under collision and also put a check mark under self collision. And go under field weights and choose a value of 0 for gravity. Okay. Go now back to the modifier tag. We also insert now thickness. For this, we need solidify. And as you can see, we have now thickness in our planes. And we also need again some subdivisions. So you find the subdivision surface here. Put it between this both tags and in the, increase the value to two. That looks good. Perfect, guys. In the next step, we insert our force field and we need the vertex. And as you can see, it lies to the wrong direction. We have to rotate it in Y by 90 degrees. Make the planes visible again. Go now under this tag and change the scale to 0 0.5. Go now under the physics tags. Here we change the strength to 25, inflow to 1. Under fall off shape, we need a tube and we work with minimum and maximum distance. Here we choose a value of 0 0.1 for both values. All right. And if we hit play now, everything is animated. We increase the whole animation duration to 500 and we also animate the vertex. Insert a keyframe in the beginning of the animation. Press this icon here to go to the end of the animation. And now select 360 degrees, insert a new keyframe. The vertex uh, force field is rotating 360 degrees. And to see the whole animation, we have to go under the plane, then under the cloth tag and go to Kachel and increase the frame rate to 500. So we get the whole animation duration that we want. All right. And we also change again the self collision distance to 0 0.01. Select the planes, press with the right mouse button on it and choose shade smooth to get this cool result, of course. All right, now we also insert the plane as a background, rotate it by 90 degrees, put it in the back and rescale it. And we also insert a camera, press now the camera icon, 
Now you can under X zoom out, select a camera, go under this tag and choose a format of your choice. I choose 1080 by 1350 pixels, like the typical Instagram format. And yeah. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon, the link is in the caption. The materials. Become a member on YouTube and get access to the member-only videos. Today I have a second material part where you create stunning rainbow material. You find the link in the caption or in the info box. Alright, now we came to the cool part, the material part. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go! Download it! And let's move on with the tutorial. Now we can start with the materials. Go to the top left corner until a plus appear. Drag the window to the side. Change here to Shader Editor. Change here to Viewport Shading 4. And we start with the lightning. Go for it to the world mode. And now we search everything that we need. Search first for environment texture. Copy and paste it. Search now also for mix. We will work with two HDRI maps. Connect it this way. And the other texture with B. Alright, now we search for mapping, connect both textures with it, and in the end, search for geometry position. Alright, in the first environment texture, we insert the Studio HDRI from my Patreon account. You find it there for free. And in the second one, we insert the colorful image. You also find it on my Patreon. Alright, now we go here to the mix. Here we change to the lightning mode. And we increase the factor to 1 and the strength to 3. In the next step, we start with the first material. Go back to the object mode, select the plane, press the plus icon here to create a new material. Change metallic to 1 and the color to black, like this. In the next step, we create our plane material. Press the plus icon to create a new material. Increase metallic to 1 and roughness to 0.1. In the next step, we search for ramp and for fresnel. And in this case, we change the colors to get this cool result. Perfect. And in the end, we go to the camera. Go under the render text and here we put a check mark under ambient inclusion, maybe one. And we also increase bloom. The values are perfect. And that's it guys. We are ready. With this dope animation. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support guys. And that's it. Well done Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.